the possum, a United States Marine, the Rolls Royce of country music, King George, Thumper Jones, No Show Jones, and one of the greatest country musicians of all time, George Jones. Hey everybody, this is Russ Carson Jr. with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in Woodlawn Cemetery, just south of Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm at the graveside of one of the greatest country musicians of all time, George Jones. George Glenn Jones was born September 12, 1932 in Saratoga, Texas. And he was raised in the Big Thicket region of Southeast Texas. When he was born, the doctor dropped him and broke his arm. Both of his parents played music and his mother played piano in their Pentecostal church. It is said that his dad was quite a drinker and sometimes would come home late at night with his buddies and grab George out of bed and make him sing or threaten him with a beating. You would think that because of this, George would hate singing, but in reality, it made him strive for perfection in his singing. At age 16, he left home to sing and play music for the radio station KTXJ. And in 1951, he joined the United States Marine Corps. Sipper five, brother. In 1954, he cut his first record, No Money in This Deal, and his epic career took off. He had a slew of hits to include Why Baby Why, White Lightning, I Don't Need Your Rockin' Chair, He Stopped Loving Her Today, and many, many more. Many don't realize that he was also a successful songwriter, writing hits for Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Loretta Lynn, Jerry Lee Lewis, and others. Later in his career, it was well known that George was plagued with alcoholism, and it affected his health, his career, and his family, to include his relationship with his wife, singer Tammy Wynette. He spent his whole life performing or doing things to help country music or helping other country music stars. His grave sits towards the back of the cemetery, a little bit to the right of the main building. A black wrought iron fence goes around his section. Inside this section, there are graves of other songwriters and other famous people. It is important to note that about 14 steps from George Jones' grave is the grave of one of his former band members, Johnny Paycheck. In case you don't know who Johnny Paycheck is, he's the one that sung one of the most liberating songs of all time, Take This Job and Shove It. George Jones is a larger than life figure spanning many different generations and decades. Him and his music will likely live long into the future. A music critic called him Honky Tonk's greatest honky. Do you agree? So here we are at the graveside of George Jones, one of the greatest country musicians of all time. Slipper Five Marine, and remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at familytreenuts.org.